Okay, this is Renegade Ops, and we're going for the Naughty or Nice Santa achievement. Now, this is one of the few uh, that require uh, the, Cold, the Cold Strike paid DLC. So, uh, if you bought the game on Steam, you actually need to buy the Cold Strike DLC as well. But, if you bought the game anywhere but Steam, let's skip the cutscene, uh, then you have it for free. Or, if you bought a 4-pack, Civilians. Or got what the hell were they thinking? The pack, Get them out of there, people. Then you're fine as well. It's kind of strange, isn't it? So the best deal is to get Renegade Ops uh, from somewhere else if they have it on a terrible sale, like Gamers Gate or Green Man Gaming, because it's a Steamworks game and thus you get it for um, you get it on Steam no matter what. Basically, you can't not have it on Steam but you get the DLC too. Uh, the other good deal is buying the 4-pack for yourself and trading uh, the gifts to, unless you have friends, 4 friends, friends, then you can still trade the extra copy for other things during the sale. And you'll be fine. So that's the key. But now that you have the Cold Strike DLC, then all you need to do is select it from the main menu as you saw under campaign. Now I skipped the, uh, the cutscenes and everything since we want to get to this quickly. Uh, reportedly, this also does not work in co op, which is too bad because co op is really the way this game is meant to be played. I mean, there's no bones about it. It's a co op game. It's still fun in single player, uh, but it's just nothing to make a co op. So, uh, rather than bother with the entire Cold Strike campaign, I'll try to just show you the get the part with Santa. There, I those little boxes had civilians. I basically rescued all three civilians. As you can see, my cargo is full, and I need to take them back to the drop point, which is indicated by the red marker. So that's the first thing I need to do. Then it should play a cutscene, and the map will open up. You are here to fight Cold Strike. We could use the help. Uh, no, these we tried fighting back after they took our land. Cold strike, huh? Not sure I like the sound of this. Thank you for clearing that forest for me. Those civilians are sitting ducks out there. Help them. Go. If you haven't played it before and you haven't leveled up any characters, then Gordon Freeman is a safe character to pick. But honestly, you know, just uh, to get the achievement. Just play this on casual difficulty. You can't lose with any of the characters. And when you play it for real, uh, feel free to pick normal. Uh, the hard difficulty is basically for when you've leveled up a character sufficient, sufficiently and have pretty much finished the game from before. Things a bit easier. 
I just put it on the end of the And I missed it. One really annoying thing about the physics in this game is how easily it is to get turned upside down. But oh well. Okay, we're almost there. Let's see this uh, impassable mountains are indicated by the dark spots of the map. And what I'm trying to do is get near this. Uh, is get near the mountain that is right here to my left currently and that I'm now north of and I'm driving around. Now in theory Santa should spawn at some point. Be flying around this area. Oh see there he is already. Uh, you see him, once you see him you can't mistake him. While the game can get very busy with explosions and such, um, and it can be hard to make things out. Santa flies pretty high in the air, so you won't miss him. As you can see, he's uh, he's flying basically in a pattern around this mountain in the map. That is currently to my left, and I am now driving to the north of it. So he pretty much just follows this road, and all I have to do is shoot him down, and he drops a gift, and there we go. Naughty or nice, achievement unlocked. It's as simple as that, everyone. And thanks for watching.